Hi so everyone, how are you doing? Uh, thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I would like to um, share a quick information with you regarding about the tax return. Do you know <clears throat> do you know the tax day for individual um, have been extended to May 17th? Um, so the IRS extend filing and payment deadline to May 17th instead of um, April 15th, 2020 uh, for this year. Um, so that is the new um, tax filing deadline uh, for this year. Um, even though with the new deadline, uh, the IRS <clears throat> urge the taxpayer to consider uh, file, filings as soon as possible, especially like to those who are on the refund. Um, so file the electronic with the direct deposits is the quickest way to get the refund. Um, and it also can help some of the taxpayer more quickly receive any remaining stimulus payment uh, that they may be entitled to. Um, so individual taxpayer uh, postpone for the federal income tax payments for the 2020 tax years due on uh, April 15th to the May 15th, uh, May 17, 2021. Uh, without any penalties or interest, uh, regardless uh, of the amount that you own. But keep this in mind. Um, this postpone is applied to individual taxpayer, including in individual who pay the self-employment tax, um, but they are not applied to um, the state. So this is just only for the federal tax filing only. Uh, the, remember that the extensions is only for the federal tax uh, filing only. So you need to uh, check with your state um, to see that is the extended also apply to your state or not. Um, So for the same thing, like for the for the state return, right? As I mentioned, the federal tax filing deadline is postponed until May 17th and only apply to individual federal income tax uh, and uh, tax on the same employment income payment otherwise due uh, on the April 15th. Not the state tax payment or deposits or payment of any other type of federal tax. So keep that in mind. Uh, and in this video, I also will show you how to get the free file link on the IRS for the tax software. Uh, so when you click in here, um, you can, it's still on the IRS.gov website, right? Uh, so they have, um, if you skip scrolling down, they have the link right here. So if your income is 72,000 or below, when you click on this uh, tab, you will receive a free federal tax filing on IRS partner site, um, including the state tax filings, uh, a guide and reparation with a simple answer questions uh, and also like et cetera and other services. But if you are the income above 72,000, then um, they have the form for you, um, a free file, free able form for you, um, but no state tax filings. Uh, so you can click any any of this, uh, you know, they will be take you there. For example, if your income is below 72,000, when you click in here, right, they will take you to the website and they have all the information uh, supporting you 
and um, asking you what you need to repair in order to continue. So you need to have the income tax like W2 or 1099. You need to have any adjustment to income. You need to have the current filing status. Uh, you have the dependent information if you have it, right? And then um, you can start, look up the tool right here and then like you set browser, you know, to see which one you want the best fit for you. Um, and in this file, um, you know, they also have the, uh, the app or the toolbox for you to check to see where is your refund after you complete the tax filings, right? Um, you go to the irs.gov flag refund. Uh, so you, they will take you to their, this website. And then from here, you can click on where my refund button. So they have, um, after you file uh, within 24 hours, you can uh, start looking at, uh, to checking the status of your return uh, within 24 hours. Um, if you, after they receive your e-file return or four weeks after you mail a paper return, um, then you will be able to check it too, you know? Um, so when you click on my, where my refund, right? Um, they will take you to another um, site, another website or the tab. And then they have the information, it just pop up this screen is like you authorize and then you aware that uh, this is the US government system um, authorized to use only. So you just click okay, right? And they will asking your social number, your filing status. So you can select single when you file or did you file as the marriage joining return, marriage joining separate return or the heads of a household or the qualified widows. Um, so select one of those, right? And then uh, if you know exactly how much uh, that you get the refund, put it in here, uh, then click on the submit. After you click the, on the submit button, they will pop up the information to let you know when you will receive the check or it will, uh, when it will direct deposit into your bank. Um, if you put the direct deposit, uh, checking or saving information on. So I hope this video uh, give you a short snack of um, the tax for this year, uh, when you need to file and how you check your refund status. <clears throat> Thank you for listening. And if you have any question or concern, feel free to add on the chat below. Uh, don't forget to click on the subscribe button uh, to receive my upcoming videos, uh, you know, to be the first one to receive my first uh, upcoming video. Thank you and look forward to see you on my next one. Bye.